everybody, E here. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about, I believe it's book 8 in the uh, Charlie Parker series, and that is The Lovers. Um, I didn't love it, <laughs> to uh, uh, pun intended. Uh, I didn't love it. Uh, this is another one, just like The Reapers, where the plot did absolutely nothing for me. I can't remember a single thing about it. Unfortunately, I read these four books, uh, The Reapers, The Lovers, The Whispers, and The Burning Soul. I read them back to back to back, hopping back and forth between the paperbacks and the audio books. Um, George Gwinnall, um, does, it, it's funny because it's broken up, there's, I think this one isn't by Gwinnall, um, I'm probably saying his name wrong, um, but I think the next one is, it was very odd that the narrator had changed, and the only reason I'm talking about this is because I don't have a whole lot to say about this book, but I'm OCD about keeping, you know, a series going, um, even though it takes, sometimes takes me forever to do it, um, I probably read this one three, almost four months ago, I can't really remember, uh, but I, I do know that the, the book, this is one of the very, very few Connolly books that absolutely dragged for me. I didn't care about the plot. I didn't even care about Angel and Lewis and Charlie in this one. Did absolutely nothing for me. Because I can't remember the plot, I'm going to read the back of the book for you, and I'm going to tell you what I remember, if I remember. I'm just going to be completely honest with you whether or not I remember those aspects or not. Stripped of his license, I do remember that right off the bat. I do remember he lost his license. Charlie Parker takes a job uh, in, in fact, I think I only remember that is because um, it happens the book before the Reapers. If I'm wrong about that, let me know down there in the doobly-doo. Charlie Parker takes a job in the Portland bar, alone and directionless. He faces, at last, a shadow he has lived with since childhood. What made his father, oh, I do remember this one. Okay, um, what made his father, a respected police officer, apparently shoot dead two unarmed teens and then commit suicide. His quest leads him back to the little New York town where he grew up, to the mis... I don't remember that at all, um, him going back to the town where he grew up. Um, his leads him back to where he grew up, uh, to the mysterious history of the NYPD, don't remember that at all, to the existence of, a, of secret friends and hidden enemies. But that's all of his books, I think. Um, like, Merrick was kind of like a... Uh, a secret friend instead of a hidden enemy kind of deal and every single one of his books has a hidden enemy and it's like and waiting in the shadows as they have been throughout Charlie's life are a man and a woman with only one purpose to bring an end to his very existence I don't remember that but I think they are the I, I think there's a a couple that are murdered at the beginning of the book and then it ends up uh, I don't want to talk about it but the lovers is twofold in the the story i guess it says in the back a man and a woman with only one person to end his so i guess you know right off the bat that the couples are killers too it's in the description whatever <laughs> anyways uh but this one like i said man didn't do anything for me i've uh kind of been wishy-washy on whether or not to give this two stars or three stars um i try to give every book that i didn't outright hate um or dislike like actively disliking um this is just okay by goodread standards that's two stars by my standards it's more like three stars because i still enjoyed the the, the, the characters i still enjoyed charlie and angel and lewis on screen this is nowhere near my favorite from them but uh, i still I st i'm still able to get through it without complaining i guess that's the best way i can say it whereas where a one and a two star i complained throughout the entire thing i didn't really complain with this one i was just kind of meh so maybe 2.5 stars let's go with that so yeah, that's The Lovers by John Connolly. Have you read it? Did you love it? Please let me know why you loved it. Did you not love it? Let me know. <laughs> I keep saying love because th that time it wasn't intended. But uh, it, whether or not you loved it or hated it, let me know down there in the doobly-doo. Let's have a discussion about those things. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!